Hello FIFA faithful Bearhams here and welcome to episode 21 of my San Lorenzo Academy career mode. Before we get into it, let's see what happened off camera. First game simulated off camera, we destroyed Tucumán by a score of 5 to nil. Three goals once again by Gabi Pereira. Second of four games simulated off camera, this time another home game against Gymnasia and it's 4 nil again. Pereira with a brace, so five goals in two games for him. Penultimate game simulated, this time we are away against Union. And we win once again. Pereira with a goal. Not a multi-goal game like the last couple, but still a goal. As Reinhardt with another brace. Final game simulated out of four. Another away game against Cologne. And yeah, we still are just mopping every team. Pereira with another hat trick. His second in four games. Reinhardt with a brace. And that's the reason why I live simmed these four games. That was because these teams are in the bottom half of the league. And it would have been really boring if we had an episode where it was like, okay, we're playing these teams and we're just killing them. So the good thing is the next couple episodes, they're against top teams in the league. Also, another big thing happened off camera, and that is I lost the Ecuador national team job. And apparently I just wasn't up to snuff. So we lost it, and now we're just back to square one. And I think the only other job that I will take in this career mode will be Argentina, since that's where most of our players do come from. So don't expect us to take the Portugal job anytime soon. This was going to happen at some point. A top team coming in for Christian Navaretti. Chelsea asking $96 million for him. We are going to negotiate this one. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to ask for $100 million and I hope they take it. That would be really cool. Just to see as now ready as a hundred million dollar man. There we go. The deal has been complete. Frank Lampard has Christian Navaretti in his lineup now. A hundred million dollar man. And you know what? Honestly, this was a good move. Navaretti wasn't doing as much. He did get the game winning assist to get us the Copa Sudamericana, but Honestly, it's been Reinhardt who has been the best winger this season. This news is not going to help either. Manchester United, $46 million offer for Lucas Hurtado. We will negotiate that up. We'll go for 52. Let's see what 52 does for him. There you go. He'll be gone for $52.6 million. And what possibly might be Lucas Hurtado's last game with San Lorenzo, he takes on Argentinos Jr. This is the first game in the post Navaretti era, and the player who gets the first audition for that right wing spot is Lucas Scocco. He has been he's been doing pretty well in uh, key situations, as we're just going to let Bagley shoot this one, but that is well off. Getting hassled by Bagley, good play by the Ecuadorian. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of sad that I did lose the Ecuador job. It's maybe a chance now for Scocco. Again, his first start, he's running, still running, still running. Going to tap that through. Easy pass to Reinhardt. And that will be the first goal. We caught Argentino sleeping on the counter. And will be Reinhardt with the goal. And a great play by Scucco to get the assist. It is crazy to think that $150 million worth of players might be heading out the window with Hurtado's exit. Again, I hope that kind of falls through. It would suck to lose him out to Man United. Especially when we're this close to possibly winning the league title. So maybe a chance now for Argentino's junior. Maroya again, he's too slow. It's going to find Romero. Romero looking for the centering pass. He's going to take the shot himself. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sepulveda. And it looks like he's going to get a red for it. So that's going to make this episode a little interesting. Not only we're not going to have him for the rest of the game, we're not going to have him for the next game as well. And if Hurtado leaves, we're going to need just two completely different players at the center back role. So this final bit of the season is getting a little more interesting. For the rest of the game, we will be rocking a 4-2-3. Cardenas will stay at the right back role and we'll have Gutierrez with Hurtado as our center back pairing. Gabi sees the run from Scucco. Is Scucco now going against Galvan? Has the pace over him. He is fast. Flips one through. Burgos! Now he hits the post! It's going to center that two to Cuesta. Quest is going to find a long pass to Scucco as Scucco passed his man. Another chance for something here. Threads the ball through. Right to Burgos. We will get the lead back just before halftime. Scucco already making a name for himself on that right side with two assists in the first half. 
Honestly, could have had a goal for the first one, but he's a selfless player. With that selfless pass, we have the lead once again. So there you have it. End of the first half. Started out strong, and then that tackle left us undermanned, and we're still undermanned. But Lucas Hurtado doing his best in what might be his final game. So that is intercepted by Cardenas. Hurtado. Oh, no, he's going to lose it. A chance for Lopez. He takes the shot, but a good save. No, it's going to get a rebound. And Amoroso didn't have the reflexes to get that second attempt. As it's tied game now. Did get hassled a bit as Reinhardt still keeps it. Finds a pass to Burgos. Burgos tries to get it back to Reinhardt, but it will fall to him as Burgos. Reinhardt, excuse me, finds Maroya. And now maybe a chance. Reinhardt with the curler, but a good save by Chavez. Cuesta finds Gabi. Gabi with a touch. Gabi with the shot. Oh, and it's in. Gabi with a screamer. The Shark attacks once again here in the 78th minute. As Gabi just unloads on that ball. We got the lead back once again. Wide open, too. This will be the last chance of the game as we are into extra time here. There's a cross the box. It is cleared out by Gutierrez. It's going to fall to the back line, and that will do it. We do sneak away with the 3-2 victory in what might be Lucas Hurtado's last game with San Lorenzo. It was back and forth for most of it, and honestly, it shouldn't have been. We're a lot better team than Argentinos Jr., but just that boneheaded move by Sepulveda put us in this precarious position. But regardless, we do get the victory. We're one step closer to the league title. The transfer deal has been confirmed. Hurtado will be traveling to Old Trafford. Price $52.6 million. We'll be getting 47.5 of it. And I'm sad to say that Hurtado is leaving. There was another big transfer deal in Enrique Vera. We shipped him off to Spanish side Levante for $10.6 million. And that is because he didn't fit with our system. I, to his credit, he is a great striker. He showed that to us when he was playing with Vela Sarsfeld. But I think... He's better with another team. With Hurtado gone and Sepulveda with the red card, we have a completely rotated center back pairing. As we do take on Independiente away at the Libertadores de America. In the past, we've had a lot of problems with Independiente as we've lost two of the three matches in this career mode. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that behavior is not the same. So we do have a much better side than in seasons passes. Oh my god. Reinhardt just getting taken down by whomever that number seven guy is. He's now a boss. Looking to find Quinones. Cunane. Oh, Qu ah, Quinones just... Okay. I was a little worried there because Quinones has been dangerous against us in the past. And I wouldn't want that to be the case. Getting hassled. We'll lose it to Reinhardt. So there's a terrible pass by Maroya. We might pay for it. There's a shot, but a good save by Amoroso. Still with him. Good pass. By Maroya to Reinhardt as Reinhardt does have the pace. He's going to still go. Sees the run from Burgos. Maybe a chance here is Burgos. Cuts around. Chance for a curler. Oh, and it's in. Great play by Burgos. Could have just took it head on, but a little finesse. Past the defender. Able to pluck it right behind the keeper. We take the shock lead away from home. So we'll take a quick replay on this one. Just a little dummy play. It will fall to Cardenas. Now maybe another chance for a counter. Burgos going deep. Reinhardt is going to recover. Is Reinhardt trying to get past his defender? He will. He does have the pace for it. It's Reinhardt doing some fancy flicks here. Looking to get a... Oh, he gets past a couple players. Still with it. Gets tripped up. And he will instigate the penalty. And now it is Gabi's chance for a goal here. It's Gabi looking for that corner. Plays it right. That will be goal number two. It is his 20th league goal. And he has a whole bunch more in the Sudamericana. Gabi Pereira continues to have another great season. So maybe a chance for a counter for us is Gabi. He's making the run. Taps that through. Maybe another through ball. We'll find Gabi. Gabi is past the defense as he's still running. Still running. Getting hassled by the defender. He's going to take it. And that will be Gabi Pereira's second goal of the afternoon. 21st on the league season. And I think we have this victory in hand. And that will do it. So we get another victory. Another big one against a big rival in Independiente. 
We do win by a score of 3-0. Got ourselves two goals by Gabi Pereira. Final game of the episode, first place San Lorenzo take on third place Buenos Aires, a.k.a. Boca Juniors. If we do get a victory against Boca Juniors, we'll have a seven-point lead over them, and depending on how they news do, we might even have a bigger lead over them. So we might, we might have to make an audible for this episode. Is now Cuesta. We'll find Skako again, who has been doing a great job on that right wing. He's going to find Cardenas. Cardenas tries to get a pass through. There's a good chance by Skako. Chance for them, possibly. Long ball in the corner to Fernandez. It's Cardenas. Tries his best to get in the way. Good header by Maroya. It's Reinhardt will head it. Will he win the ball, though? No, he won't. It's going to stay with Boca Juniors. There's a chance for a shot. Good save, but there's going to be a rebound. It will be Boca Juniors who get on the board first as Gite. Picks up the scraps. Good initial save by Amoroso, as he always does. Cuesta puts the power on it. Looking for a close one. Looking for Cardenas, but it will land to Burgos. Burgos out wide to Cuesta. Cuesta will find Burgos. Burgos slams one through. There's a tapper. Oh, ho, ho, what great passing. As Cuesta does find Burgos, and then Burgos finding our young buck of the hour in Reinhardt. Trying to keep it. Still managing to keep it. It's going to find Skako. Skako sees a deep run from Bagui, who does get the header and gets the game leading goal. It's once again Skako. I, it doesn't even feel like we're missing Navaretti since Skako is playing so well. Able to find the little Ecuadorian. And the comeback kids are at it again. We were down by one. Then we had two goals one by Reinhardt and one by that man, Bagui. So now maybe something more. As Reinhardt, with his pace, is cooking. Reinhardt, still running. Going to find Skako. Yep, we're going to have the two-goal advantage here. As it looks like that early blip of hope from Boca Juniors to get back in this title race has disappeared. And that will be the end of this game. So we do get another victory. 3-1 over Boca Juniors. We were down at first. But again... The comeback kids are at it again. So we get our third victory of the episode. With just three games remaining in the regular season, we do have a two-point lead over Lanus, but a lot can happen between now and the end of the season. So we do need to continue our run of form. Just keep winning, and we'll be just fine. So yes, this will be the end of the episode, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as you did playing it. Be sure to like it, subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hands, and as always, toodaloo.